what up guys beat edits with a new tutorial done in Adobe After Effects slash Sony Vegas but today I'm gonna be using Adobe After Effects because it's a lot easier to use so what I'm gonna be teaching you guys today is something I've done it myself I haven't been copying it anyone and it's my own creative idea I've seen it in Modern Warfare 2 top 100 or 10 ways to die and this is where I got the idea from but I haven't been watching any tutorials on it how to do it I had this um I had similar um tutorial posted on my channel but then it wasn't as good as this one so I've improved and I hope you enjoy my tutorial so here we go um basically what we're going to be doing today is going to be how to add a 3D arrow with shadowing on behind like on the wall and then this guy jumping and leaving um people behind himself so I really don't know what to call this tutorial cuz I ha I don't know would you call this when he leaves it behind just call it futuristic effect cuz it looks like he's in future leaving I don't know shadows behind himself so yeah basically leaving people behind him so step 1 the 3D arrow that's very easy to do all you have to do is to take the raw clip which is this one either into Sony Vegas or Adobe After Effects once you've done it um, let's go basically to this one and then turn off all the magic bullet looks color correction on it So basically all you have is your raw clip all you have to do is just take a picture of this and import it to Cinema 4D so if I take a picture of this and import it to Cinema 4D imagine this is my text and then I take it into Cinema 4D and then just add a floor by going to thing this arrow here going on to floor dragging it and then making a new composite adding the material which is the image by the place where you saved it just load it and drop it on the background you gotta make a background first drop it onto the background and to the later on you drop it onto the floor just make sure um yeah just make sure the layer says frontal and then you go we right click on floor cinema 40 tags and go to compositing that's very important so once you render it out you're gonna get the image right here so this is the 3d arrow done after you've got the image, you take it into some Adobe After Effects or Sony Vegas, depending on which one you're using. So this is the image with the shadowing behind it. By using light, you go to shadows, 90, 85, anything you want to do. And just moving under light. So once you've got the image, which is this one, all you have to do is to import it in Adobe After Effects. So as I can, as I can show you here, I'll make a new composition. Composition, new composition, nine seconds is enough. Okay, so I've got um the image and the video. So all I have to do is to drag the video in, like so, and then drag the image, the picture, so we can see the arrow. But then there's no one jumping, so we click on the image, go into the masking tool, and then just mask like like this the arrow out it doesn't matter how you mask it because you're only going to be using half of the video so there you can see our guy comes to live our car comes to action it's called just make it the same thing just like that so um if i come here to my the one i've done already he comes um, let me turn it off yeah he comes and then he leaves people behind him hits him himself leaving people behind him um I've seen this effect um on Guinness World Records 2012 someone um diving and then it's the same kind of method they've used there so I don't know if they've done it in Photoshop but then I'm more comfortable doing it in Sony um what's this Adobe After Effects slash Sony makes so yeah once you got the clip um you gotta just you know you just wanna know you can choose wherever you want him to like you know stop so if I want him to stop right there all I have to do is to go on the clip to control shift D I don't know why it's not working but then it should split my clip so you go you go onto your clip go to file or edit and then you go split layer 
Control Shift D. Split layer, and then it splits this layer. You you click on the second thingy, um, this clip. Control D, which which is gonna duplicate it. So now this um the third clip which you got. Let's rename this so you don't get confused. So this one's gonna be video, and then just let's rename this um duplicate. And then we'll call this one um, still image slash mask masking. All right. So what you do, we go to still image slash masking. Right click, time, freeze frames. So we just make sure he he stops right there. Now all you have to do is just mask him out, which I'm just gonna do rough roughly. Just do that. Blah 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 blah. Something like this, and then make sure it connects. And now, just to make you know, so you don't have rough edges, go to feather, and then depending on how you like it, you do it. So as you can see, if you go further into the timeline, he continues while he stays where he should stay. And basically, you can do this as many times as you want. As I've done here, I've done I don't know four times yet. So I've done it four times. The three detects it there because I've masked it out, and then he jumps out. So if you look closely, this is the video from here to here. This is the video. Just make sure you're clicking on 720p so you can see everything what I'm seeing right now. And make sure it's full screen. So yeah, this edit is pretty much done right now. Um, you can finish it off by adding some color corrections. Um, I just use Magic Bullet Looks. Let me turn on the effect. Magic Bullet Looks um, with some radial blur and stuff like that with caution player yeah so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching this tutorial and I hope you've learned something new thank you